I would resign dude if I was Ten Hag and be like I don't even want that like paycheck please I've embarrassed myself and the club enough like let's move on going from one of the greatest managers arguably an all time to one of the clowns that we are seeing in the Premier League right? I think I mean I have to say I'm, I'm being too harsh that's why I didn't want to wear any of the united like gear to the pod today because I'm pissed this is my protest bro like uh, <laughs> as as rival fan fans like what do you, what is your perception of this like banter era at united like this for us it's painful to watch I want to know your thoughts actually go ahead guys I, I have Europe I have already told, told way too much I have told way too <laughs> yeah. much I'm, I mean this is I want to hear you guys first. He is not making it. He is making. He is not making it easier for himself by the way he speaks, right? The way he presents himself. He is just making it very easy for all of us to hate him. It's. It's not like oh we hate him because he's a rival or something like that. It's more like I don't like his fucking face. He's annoying. <laughs> I don't like the things that he's saying. It's yeah, become I'm very trivial. It's become very trivial things for- now. Why do you go so personal, bro? <laughs> no, but but he is. I was standing up for Ten Hag, by the way. Remember, I was advocating that this guy needs to stay for one more season when Radcliffe cleans up the club. But then now it's like he's just being now arrogant. Now he just started annoying you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, uh, of course no. it's like it's it's totally out of their hands. Like they can't do anything now. They they can't do anything in the Premier League. I mean, maybe the FA Cup. They're not going to be in the Champions League next year. So. <laughs> It's like back to square one, or even Logically, worse. I guess. Yeah. Initially, when like I had like you know I was criticizing Ten Hag the whole season, even like or like since I think it started literally from the week after the Carabao Cup final last year when you guys won, and then you guys mm. got humbled by Liverpool that week. Um, was when I thought that okay, this guy is not. He's just he's just a vibes manager. He's not really a strong individual. And I thought there are a lot of reasons. I thought still he has control over the players. He still has control over. Like he still is a disciplined daddy. He looked a little tough, and he looked like uh, there are people respect him. Uh, but he just doesn't doesn't have the right tactics. But this year I've seen something even worse. I feel like players have stopped respecting him. I feel like no one really listens to him, and he blabbers all almost all the time. He doesn't motivate his team. The team like sometimes Klopp's team come out of halftime looking like animals. Like you know that he's motivated them to another. Even Ange has shown that after halftime sometimes Tottenham are a different team. Arteta has done that. every team does that. But United just look like they go, go into halftime. And they just they just coming out like fuck. What was this guy saying? I'm like 15 minutes have wasted of my life. I just want to go play. So I don't know. That's an outside thought of the things that have made more sense this year. It's even it's been even worse like than tactics. I don't even want to go to tactics because I think the way he's playing at United is not sustainable to win uh, nothing more than top games here and there. Uh, he can't win a league with this kind of football and. Yeah, he's he's a polarizing figure. He he's he's you know he's fought with so many players. It's just been it's just been a train wreck. And the sooner it ends, the better it is for United. Yeah, and I think I think he's also like making the whole thing more toxic now. So the players can't even get into the right mindset. Like what you said, like after half time, if if they are not getting motivated, that means that it's getting worse and worse. Right? Every week there's more pressure, and this guy's probably. Like trying different things, but not, none of it is working. So it's going to like make everyone lose hope, feel like yeah. there's nothing to play for. And this is like every competition. Like if you see Champions <clears throat> League, he finished last in the group. We don't even talk about that. He finished. Man <laughs> United finished last in the group. Didn't even qualify for Europa League. Don't talk about that possibility of finishing seventh or eighth this year. Okay, fine. You got into an FA Cup final, but let's not even talk about that. Like how that happened. Um, so it's it's almost embarrassing. There are a lot of good managers available this year, but also a lot of teams looking for managers. But again, United is like a top job for anyone, especially under this new ownership. I feel like it's a golden opportunity to start afresh, um, and you know, give the money, give the initial investment, and everything to an actual proper manager, and not waste it again. 
otherwise we'll be in we'll keep going in circles and what's more embarrassing is that liverpool lost four points in an fa cup quarter final to this manager and that's what kind of keeps me awake at night in in a title race of this magnitude <laughs> and this closeness we lost four points and i don't know man how that um diallo goal still kind of keeps me awake at night the only thing that could have made it better was maybe a 4-3 coventry winner which was almost there and you know got ruled out today but yeah i think i think i think he's just on borrowed time right now ten hag talking right i mean the way he plays football that kind of transitional counter attacking play he can get those odd results yeah i can i'm even i i think he can probably get an fa cup this year for sure but i think it should be the van hart treatment like get the fa cup bring it to old trafford give it to us and get out you know people <laughs> no, and, and they're getting the basics wrong right like they're not they're conceding so many goals it means there's zero discipline and that's like yeah. the basic yeah. thing a manager should be doing Yeah, yeah. Go on. I agree with all of your points. Like, and no, let's not even get into tactics. To your, to your point, you know, like the traits or like a how a human being or a manager should be at a club are like missing. Is panicking in press conferences. I'm. I can't believe that he's not able to like motivate players to go out after like, like uh, after like you know 90 minutes today. He wasn't even talking to the players, dude. Like it was Steve McLaren and the other coaches that were actually talking to players. Like players were there. to like absorb information and like try to do something in the game but like he doesn't have a game plan like there is no plan b there was no plan c he only had one plan for united and it's clearly not working the best thing about today actually is that like it was today had to happen i think today was the final nail in the coffin doesn't really matter what happened with fa cup result at this point and where we finish in premier league i think everyone's seen enough and they are going to move on and that's probably the best thing that will come out of this run right like where uh, we we've, we've seen united concede 20 shots in almost every game including today's game and today was a championship team come on dude like have yeah. some like spine like this guy has should resi- i would resign dude if i was ten hag and be like i don't even want that like paycheck please i've embarrassed myself and the club enough like let's move on from this experience but uh, was painful and weirdly enough when we went to penalties i really thought that like i wanted coventry to win somewhere deep down because i was like i want this nightmare to end coventry winning would have meant that he would have getting sacked today and someone would see the season out but unfortunately now we have to wait till the end of the season like and that's it that's the the sacking is in, inevitable it will happen towards the end of the season after the fa cup like van hal no i totally yeah. agree and i think i think he is the only manager i think who doesn't get the stature of united right? because your previous managers solskjaer or van hal or mourinho as bad as they were in 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 their own ways i think at least they were kind of living up to the club stature i think this is basically van hal is in that david moyes kind of thing like where he was put in a job which was too big for him and you can see how which kind of you know he is going to he's you know the his press conferences his demeanor and everything it, it's just not suiting up and i think at some point sooner rather than later he has to be put out of his misery man i think it's it's just too much for him and I, as neerav said i think the players are not listening to him nothing's happening there is again a prayag wants to punch his face so but yeah again it, everything's kind of dark it's gone <laughs> there is no redeeming factor there <laughs>